Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make chicken tikka masala. There are two parts to this dish, the marinated and grilled chicken and the creamy flavorful sauce. Some of you had asked for this recipe, so here it is. I'll put all the ingredients right below the video. I'll also put links to some spices that you may not find at the store. After you taste it, you'll be glad you spent the time to make it. In this recipe, I'll be using boneless, skinless chicken thighs, about two pounds or 900 grams. I've put three shallow cuts in each thigh, add half a teaspoon salt, one tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder. This is what the dried chili looks like. It has hardly any heat. It's mainly used for the beautiful red color and flavor. Two teaspoons of minced garlic, two teaspoons of minced ginger. The garlic and ginger should be finely minced. You can do it in the food processor or a blender. Two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, five ounces or 150 grams of Greek yogurt. You can also strain regular yogurt so it's thick. Mix this really well. Cover and marinate in the fridge for at least three hours or overnight. I prepare the chicken at night and make the sauce the next day. Here is the chicken I marinated overnight. To cook the chicken, you can use a grill, a pan on the stovetop, or the oven. I'll be using the oven. Heat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius. My baking sheet is covered in foil, so cleanup is easy. I've put a rack on top and oiled the rack well. Place the chicken on the rack. Cook the chicken in the heated oven for 25 minutes. I broil it for another five minutes until it looks like this. While the chicken is cooking, make the sauce. This is one large onion chopped, two green chilies. Slip them and take the pith and seeds out so it's not spicy. Otherwise, the dish will be too spicy. Chopped tomatoes, one pound or 450 grams, about five medium tomatoes, a few tablespoons of butter, cumin seeds. This is mace, the dry lacy covering of the nutmeg fruit a small piece of cinnamon, five cardamom pods. I've taken the seeds out of the pods and got a masala. Heat up a pan and pour a few tablespoons of vegetable oil. Add the cumin seeds. When you smell them, add the cinnamon, cardamom, and mace. Add the chopped onion, a little salt, and saute until golden. Now add two teaspoons of minced garlic, one teaspoon of minced ginger, saute for a minute. Add two tablespoons of butter, the chopped tomatoes, a little salt, Cover and cook until the tomatoes are soft and you can mash them easily. Stir this occasionally. Now the tomatoes are done. Leave this aside to cool a little bit before blending. You don't want to put boiling hot sauce in your blender. While the sauce is cooling, cut up the chicken into bite-sized pieces. It's extremely flavorful and soft. Blend the tomato mixture until smooth. Pour the blended mixture into a sieve and strain it to make a creamy, smooth sauce. Don't forget to scrape off all the sauce on the outside. Straining makes the sauce silky smooth. This is the stuff you don't want in the sauce. Heat up a pan and add two tablespoons of butter. On low heat, add a half a teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of minced ginger, and the two green chilies slit and deseeded. Let this cook for a minute on low. Don't let the butter brown. Add two teaspoons Kashmiri chili powder, half a teaspoon garam masala, stir for a few seconds, and add the strained sauce. Add salt to taste, half a cup of water. If your sauce is too sour, add a little sugar or honey. My tomatoes were not very sour and the onions added enough sweetness so I did not need to add any sugar. Bring the sauce to a boil, then cover and simmer for five minutes. You can see how creamy the sauce is. Add the chicken. Cover and simmer for three minutes. Then add heavy cream, about a quarter of a cup. These are dried fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi. Rub it in the palm of your hands, about a half a teaspoon. Mix and taste it. If you like more cream, add it now. You can add half or even three quarters of a cup in total. Simmer just for a minute and the dish is ready.
It's perfect served over basmati rice or any type of bread. I'll put a link to my easy, no measure basmati rice recipe if you want to use it. Give this chicken tikka masala a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.